Characteristics of Russian Economy Russia is the wealthiest country in the world in terms of resources. It has the highest volumes of forests, water lakes, 40% of world palladium and 10% of world oil and gas reserves. It is a mixed economy with state acquiring major sectors of the economy. Market reforms of 1999 privatized much of the Russian agriculture and industry sector. It was surprising that privatization also occurred in the energy and defense rated fields. With currency rubble, Russia stands at 12th position in terms of GDP, which is about $1.350 trillion. She placed herself at 6th position when it comes to comparing its PPP, purchasing power parity, i.e. $3.938 trillion. The Russian is rising every year with an average GDP growth rate of 1.7%. The sectors that accounts for the whole of the GDP of Russia are agriculture 4.7%, industry 33.1% and services 66.2%. In Russia, 13.4% of total population is living below poverty line. The labor force of Russia stands at 76.9 million. The unemployment rate in Russia is 5.4%. If you ask the per capita monthly income of a Russian, then i.e. $565 or 32,746 rubles. Main industries operating in Russia are petroleum, natural gas, coal, chemical, metals, rolling mills, aircraft, space vehicles and defense equipments. Recently, Russia was placed at 40th position in terms of ease of doing business. Russia carry out export of $285.5 billion, which mainly includes petroleum and petrol products, natural gas, metals, wood and wood products, chemicals, defense and civilian manufacturers. Main exporting partners of Russia are Netherlands, China, Germany, Italy, Turkey, Belarus and Japan. Russian do imports with countries like China, Germany, United States, Belarus and Italy. Its total import expenditure is $182.3 billion. The main goods that are imported includes machinery, vehicles, pharmaceutical products, meat, fruits and nuts, optical and medical instruments, iron and steel. Russia has been successful in collecting FDI worth $361 billion. Strongholds of Russian Economy It is the largest country in the world, therefore it is believed that 30% of world's natural resources exists in Russia because of its vast size. Various geographical regions in Russia contributes unevenly to Russian economy, with Moscow taking pride in being the highest contributor. An estimate of World Bank says the total worth of Russia's natural resources is 75 trillion US dollars. A 2012 report says 16% of the total GDP was accounted by the oil and gas sector. This sector was held responsible for 52% of federal budget revenues and over 70% of total exports, thereby making Russia the largest exporter of natural gas and second larger exporter of petroleum. This clearly indicates that Russian economy is quite dependent on its petroleum reserves and make energy superpower of the world. After petroleum and natural gas, it is defense which is another supporting pillar of Russian economy. Russia has indigenously manufacturers, fifth-generation fighter jets, nuclear-powered submarine, advanced firearms, short-range and long-range ballistic missiles. This is what it exports to war-torn countries like India, which is surrounded by threats of China and Pakistan. Russia advancement in field of military has made her second largest exporter of defense equipment after USA. Defense manufacturing contributes $15.7 billion to the revenue generated by the export. Period of 2000 to 2012 the period between 2000 and 2012 saw rapid growth in living standard of Russians, with disposable income rising by 160 percent. 
This happened due to heavy export of petroleum products, as the prices of oil barrels raised by five folds. This period also witnessed significant rise in self-assessed life satisfaction of Russians. Along with these raises, poverty and unemployment also increased by more than half. This growth, however, was unequally distributed as it was found that 110 wealthiest Russians actually hold the 35% of all financial assets. Therefore, Moscow, the official capital of Russia, has been considered capital of billionaires by Forbes every year since 2008. Russia also lost $880 billion due to the outflow of illicit money during this period. The pump that Russian economy got was because of the pro-growth economic reforms that took place in Russia along with tax reforms like imposing income tax up to 13% and huge effort were done at deregulation in between 2000 to 2002. Industries saw a rise of 75%, investments increased by 125% and people under middle class raised from 8 million to 55 million. Period of recession as the prices of oil reduced during the early 2014 and due to higher dependency of Russian economy on oil and gas, she faced the recession and GDP, which was growing 0.6% in 2014, contracted to 3.7% and further in 2015 and 2016 respectively. As of now, Russian economy had managed to maintain a positive growth of 0.3% in 2016, so it is officially not under the threat of recession. According to a report released in May 2016, monthly wages fell to $450 per month. Also, population living under the poverty line raised from 16.1 million in 2015 to 19.2 million in 2016. Digging past for further analysis. During the period of 1970, when Russia was Soviet Union, she faced the era of stagnation. Then, in 1986, Mikhail Gorbachev did efforts to stabilize the economy by converting Soviet economy to market-oriented socialist economy, but he has unfortunately failed. Perestroika, however, tried to disintegrate the economy and politics, which led to the breaking up of Soviet Union in 1991. Period of 1991 to 1998 After the collapse of Soviet Union, Russian economy transformed from centrally planned economy to globally integrated market economy. The process of privatization was not at all planned, but haphazard and corrupt due to which major state-owned firms went to oligarchs who had political connections, leaving wealth being concentrated to a portion of society. Afterwards, Yeltsin's shock therapy of radical and market-oriented reforms was applied to save Russia from downfall on the recommendation of IMF and top American economist, but it came out to be a disaster, and GDP fell by 40%. Situation worsened to hyperinflation, which in turn wiped out the personal savings of Russians, leading to the increase in crime rate and poverty. 1998 was the year of financial crisis for Russia, as government failed to collect revenues and dependency on short-term, borrowing from finance budget deficit led to this calamity. Then, in 1990, Russia turned towards IMF for financial help and became the largest borrower with loans amounting to $20 billion, for which IMF was later criticized. Period of 1999 to 2008 this duration is considered the time period of recovery and growth of Russian economy. Russia devaluated her currency ruble, which helped domestic producers to compete nationally and also on global platform. The period of 2000 to 2002 changed the circumstances for small and medium-sized enterprises as pro-growth economic reforms took place along with comprehensive tax reforms. During the time period of 2000 to 2008, Russian economy got a push due to rise in price of commodities and GDP rose to 7% on an average per year. Poverty declined from 30% to 14% and disposable income was more than doubled and in dollars increased eight folds. Moreover, consumer credit between 2000 and 2006 raised 45 times, also boosting private consumption. 
In 2007, Russian economy got applause from World Bank, which stated that Russian economy had achieved unprecedented macroeconomic stability. Russian economy was successful in maintaining impressive fiscal discipline with budget surplus every year from 2000 to October 2007. Period of 2009 to 2014 Impact of global credit crunch was also seen on Russian banks in 2008. Fortunately, there was no long-term damage due to proactive and timely response of the government and central bank which saved banking system from global financial crisis. This brief period of recession was followed by recovery period which started in late 2009. WTO accepted the membership of Russian in 2011 after a long 16 years of negotiation. After this, Russia finally succeeded in getting a label of high-income economy by World Bank. Due to the unpredictable rise and fall in the prices of oil and gas, Russian leaders started to ponder on diversifying the dependence of economy on other sectors, also like technology. This shift, however, showed limited growth of 1.3% in 2013 after performing well all these years. Several reasons were stated for this slowdown, like recession in EU, stagnant oil prices, demographic issues and lack of strong industrial sector. Russia also engaged in political turmoil with Ukraine during this period. Period of 2014 to present Annexation of Crimea in March 2014 and conflicts with Ukraine led other powerful countries like USA, Canada, Japan and the European Union to impose sanctions on financial energy and defence sector of Russia. This declined the Russian ruble and raised the fear of financial crisis. Russia responded to this sanction again to these countries and also imposed ban on food imports from European Union and the United States. Growth of GDP in first half of 2014 was just 1% and grew by 0.6% in whole of 2014, contrary to 0.5, which was predicted by ministry. Second half of 2015 saw contraction of economy by 4.6% due to inflation as economy once again entered recession. To balance the state budget, it was proposed to keep the oil price at $74 as opposed to $104 in 2014. Earlier, Russia had the forex reserves of around $500 million, but now it has plummeted to $360 million in summer 2015. Therefore, the plan is to keep accumulating forex reserves till they reach the past reserve of $500 million again.